So at the end of the year one study program, and Ben and a couple of his other classmates have got so far ahead of the program that we're finished nice and early, and now we're stretching those learners. In this case, we're fitting LED down lighters that were donated kindly by Collingwood Lighting to us here at the college. So we've had to go around it slightly different way than perhaps the lighting circuits we've been constructing on wooden boards. Ben, how did we reduce the number of cables that we had at the lighting points themselves? Uh, we brought a feed down from the consumer's unit down to the switch so that we put less cables in the actual light fittings. That's right, so this time, unlike some of their practice jobs or small jobs in year one, we're getting to bigger lighting circuits, we move on. We've actually done what industry does, which is take both the feed down to the switch before we bring the switching line and neutral back to the lighting points to reduce the cables. Ben's gonna show us in a minute some of the connections he's made in his switches. And he's also now gonna show me, what are you gonna show us, Ben? Uh, how to terminate ends and put it inside the joint box. The joint box itself, okay? Yeah. The one positioned above the LED light. Unfortunately this time we haven't got a maintenance free one. We may show you a maintenance free one in here. This one's got one with some screw connections. We're not in a lovely position where we've got maintenance free ones that are plenty at college, but we have got a joint box that we can screw into and we'll potentially show you a maintenance free one in the presentation as well. So let's get ready for that Ben, yeah? Yeah. So Ben's gonna now connect up the joint box for the LED lighting for us. So if you wanna start that Ben, please. Yeah. Going to start off with the CPC. Okay, brilliant. What does CPC stand for, Ben? Circuit protective conductors. Okay. Right. So we're quite fortunate in this style of joint box. They're actually labelled um, loop, um, earth, neutral, and switching line. So he's going to be using the one that has the earth symbol against it. He's doubled over his terminations, which is nice to see. And there is three holes in which he can choose to connect it in. Okay, so that's the first CPC in. Put it in, there we go. Okay. Does this light fitting itself need a CPC, Ben? Uh, no, it doesn't need a CPC at all. How did you work out for me the fact that it didn't need connecting to a CPC? Uh, the actual light fitting has a double insulated sign on it. Oh, brilliant, okay, thank you. Of course, as always, it doesn't matter how many times you practice doing these things. I mean, if the camera's on you, it's a tad more tricky, isn't it, man? Yep. Just remember, as you're looking in at what Ben's doing, he's been with us only a year. What are you going to connect now? Uh, I'm going to start with the neutral now. Okay, brilliant. And there is a termination within there labelled neutral, is that correct? Yes, okay. there is. What you do next? Can you tell me whether you've enjoyed your year with us? Uh, yes, I really have enjoyed my year. Good. Ben's also got an engineering qualification, and we'd like to think that he's going to go on and get an electrical engineering job in the coming weeks. That's hopefully what's going to happen. So that's the two circuit neutrals gone in. Is there anything else you're going to put in at the same uh, time for neutral? I'm going to put in the one for the actual light fitting. Goes in there. Good. They don't give you a lot of cable, do they? No. Is it going to reach? Yeah, it'll reach. Okay. You've got that problem I get as well, trying to keep your hand out of the way so everyone can see what you're doing. There you go. Classic, isn't it? Brilliant. So all the neutrals are done. So the two brown ones at the top, what type of conductors are they? Uh, they're the switching line conductors. Good, excellent. Let's terminate those as well then, please. Right. Open. Double. Putting them both in the same hole or in separate holes? Uh, they'll go in the same hole. Okay. When you've got two connections down there, so you're putting the two circuit ones together in one hole. Did you double those over? Uh, no. Okay. They'll only fit in singles. Okay. And then we're going to tidy our connections up in there a little bit before we close it up? Yeah. As best as I can. Yeah. Have a little fiddle around. Mm, 
So just tell me from working down the connections we got. So the first connections we made were for which conductor? That was for the CPC. Yep, next ones? The neutral. And then finally? Oh, switching lines and the line. Okay, brilliant. And you use the cord grips both top and bottom to support the cables as well, is that true? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, do you want to shut the cover up for me, please? Thank you, Ben. Screw in. Nice to see it when someone changes from a terminal to electrician screwdriver because it's the required tool. There. Thanks, Ben. So I've made you two-way these four down lighters. So can you explain the connections here at the first switch for me, Ben, please? Yeah, I've brought the feed in from the consumer's unit and put it to the switch. Yes. That's the line and neutral. Where are they connected, please, Ben? Um, the neutral is connected into this maintenance free connector block here. Okay. And then the line is into L1 where the brown strapper is as well. Okay, and you then got another twin and CPC cable, so in other words, brown, blue connections going out. Where are they going to? Uh, the switching line went into L2 with the gray strapper. Brilliant. And then the neutral went into the maintenance free connector block. What did you do with all your circuit protective conductors? Uh, they've all gone into one area down there. Does this switch actually need a circuit protective conductor? Um, no, it doesn't. Why not? Uh, because it's plastic, so it doesn't conduct any electricity. Okay, what type of conductive part would a metal light switch be please Ben? It will be an exposed conductor. Okay, good. So what else have we got connected in there? So you've explained the grey and brown strapper to me, what else have we got in there? Uh, I've got the black strapper which is connected to the common. So we've got the black conductor there is the common, yeah, in yep. this switch, because we're two-way. Should we have a look at the switch connections at the other end as well Ben? Yeah. So Ben, we're at the second two-way switch. Can you just explain your connections for me now? Uh, yeah, I've basically done the exact same as the other one. The black one has gone into the common again, and then the brown strapper has gone into the L1, and then the grey strapper has gone into L2. We're just leaving on the grey and black. Is it essential that L1 and L2 are brown and grey that way around, or could they be the other way around? It doesn't matter what way they go around. Which connection is important remains in the same place? Uh, the black one. For common, is that true? Yep. Yeah. Has your CPC been connected as well? Yes, CPC is also down there. Was it required again? No, it's not required. Ben, that is a fantastic effort for a level one student. Well, that's a first for me. We did that in one take. Well, Ben did it in one take, I did nothing. So we did that in one take. So as you're looking from afar at a year one learner, Ben has explained the connections within the switches and the lights for his LED down lighters. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, I really enjoyed doing it as an extra task for after finishing everything. Yeah, we've stretched our more able learners and then he's gone on to explain the connections for you. I'm immensely impressed and you should be impressed with him as well. What have we got to say, Ben? Uh, we hope this video, video has been some help. You're a bit quick. Uh, yeah, again. <laughs> and we'll go with that. Brilliant.